last week or so about this, um, I was really nervous. I, I had a job opportunity through an internship that I had between my junior and senior year, and it just didn't it didn't feel right during the internship. I didn't want to accept that job. So um, in a sense, it was selfish. I didn't want to do it. But on another sense, I was trusting God in it. Um, I think that was a smaller part at that time back in the fall. Um, but flash forward, flash forward to the spring when a lot of my friends were getting jobs, when a lot of my friends were, were knew their path they were going on, whether it was pre-med or, or whatever it was, um, or they might have been accepted in the med school or something, um, that I was still kind of, my future was ambiguous. Um, I, I didn't know what, what was going to happen. And um, I felt the times when I was most at ease was when I was trusting God in my future. Um, when I was having those real conversations um, in prayer about what I was supposed to do with my life, um, my goal, and I'm still, I'll be honest, I'm still struggling with where I'm supposed to be doing, or what I'm supposed to be doing in life, and, and I think that um, I know that I'm supposed to be following God, but in terms of my, my, my profession, I still struggle with it a little bit, and my goal is to find the intersection of faith and, and, and um, my, my talents, uh, so what ended up happening, kind of a little history on me, is I actually uh, interned with Athletes in Action uh, at Northwestern University uh, the year after graduation. And I don't, I don't say that if you trust God, he's going to lead you into ministry by any means, but I do know that when I was trusting God, I felt his, his guidance and I felt his, um, his presence in my life. So I encourage you um, that if you are in a, in a state of, of, of worry and you're anxious about graduation because you don't know what lies beyond that, that you spend some serious time in prayer and not be a, a human doer. I think that too many times as athletes, we're always doing, 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 doing. Uh, spend some time being a human being. Be in the present. Be in, in the presence of the Lord. Um, and that's, that's I, I guess, our second topic is, is not to worry about um, the, the – not being anxious and worry about the future and, and putting your anxieties um, on the Lord and trusting in him. And the, and the last one, last topic we wanted to talk about was biblical community. Uh, we are, I'm from Georgia, southeastern Georgia originally, uh, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, uh, a little bit north of that on the Georgia-Florida line. Lindsay's from Bloomington, Indiana, um, and for all those Midwesterners out there. And um, we are in Fort Worth, Texas right now, uh, like I mentioned earlier, and sorry about that. <laughs> and um, I talk with my hands battalion, um, but... We're in Fort Worth, Texas right now, and we didn't have any, any family close by. Uh, when we came down to Fort Worth, Texas, uh, we didn't really have many people, and we needed, we were yearning for some type of community, um, and we didn't really know it at first. We thought it was just, you know, we were about to get married when we moved down here. We thought it was just, you know, engagement worries, engagement problems, or or just anxieties about starting a new job and a new home and in a new place with a new person, uh, kind of, um, and... What ended up happening is we got plugged into a church and we started living and doing life with with those fellow Christians that we felt were going to push us to be more like Christ every day. Um, and that's what our, our, our encouragement is to you is that when when and if you move uh, from Cincinnati or e and even outside of the Xavier bubble, like mm -hmm. Lindsay was talking about, um, to to reach out into the community and find a biblical community. If you don't necessarily don't know what that stands for, um, I'll give you a little brief, um, I guess, uh, description of what it can be. And if you'd like to dive into that further, please uh, contact me or Lindsay or, or even dig into it more with Mark or Susie. But um, really, a biblical community is somebody, is a group of people who have a who have a vested interest, and that vested interest is growing in Christ. Um, and that happens, um, sometimes it happens more difficultly than, than others. I think that uh, people are in different stages depending on their, their growth and, and how long they've been in the faith. Um, but it could depend on just how much they know. So I think that getting into being humble and walking into a group of people knowing that you're you know a, a son of or daughter of God, knowing that you're a sinner, but that you are uh, willing to grow, I think is the... Um,